Thank you, sir. So, um, speaking about um, intermarriage among Celestians, you see a Celestial brother that say, no, I'm not marrying a Celestial sister. And this time, you will say, oh, no, me, oh, <laughs> Celeste. No, especially those instrumentalists. I know I cannot marry them. <laughs> they will prefer to go to the Pentecostal. Some even prefer to marry outside Christian dom or Christianity. They prefer to marry Muslim. Um, what can you say about that? See, sir? With, with marriage, there is no such rules. There is no specific. There is no specific word that you know you cannot marry. You know uh, another denomination. The uh, the instruction that was of hold. Uh, from Abraham. Abraham took one of his slaves and he told him that if I die, make sure that my son does not marry outside yeah. of this. Um, but, but, you know, as I said um, earlier, change is inevitable. inevitable. Where we are now, we have, you know, a uh, Christian brother from different denomination that uh, marries, um, you know, uh, themselves. And we even have, uh, you know, uh, Christian brothers that marry Muslim. We have Muslim uh, brothers that marry, uh, you know, uh, uh, Christian. Sure. There's nothing wrong in that. See, one of the reasons why a lot of people are born, let me use this word, one of the, one of the reason I believe that a lot of people yeah. are married out of the um, their set um, denomination. denomination is familiarity yeah. see the moment that we get too familiar you know and then you know we uh, and, uh, this familiarity bothers about you know uh, and by that means you know uh, restricting people from uh, from um, from going um, uh, you know uh, out the moment I get so uh, familiar or with yes. uh, one uh, sister or I get a sister get familiar with uh, one oh, brother yeah. and then you know that word uh, we are just still friends is there that there there can be someone in that group that have interest in that sister because yeah. I'm so familiar with that brother yeah. that person will have that or uh, you're not believe that oh <laughs> maybe they're an item let me just leave yes. them um, alone you know you go out you know, together you have dinner you have lunch. don't get it twisted I'm not saying don't be, don't be, friends. Don't be friends but yes. you know that familiarity it is a thin borderline there that if we don't draw it you know it, it, it stops people you know from you know yes. from uh, approaching or because they believe that oh mm. uh, they went out uh, yeah. and, uh, as friends uh, you know that sometimes um, you pick them from together. work and they're always together Together, they always uh, they, and then uh, no, no, that you know, uh, incidentally, that might be uh, presumed innocence. Yes. And then yes. Uh, the person will say, no, I don't want uh, <laughs> that, 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 that one. And that's why we must just make sure. I'm not saying don't be friend, don't be familiar. Too much familiarity yeah. is not just you know, it's not just uh, too um, uh, too good. And but it, it doesn't mean that I'm not. And I'm, I don't mean saying from the position of arrogance. It's a case of that we have to just draw the line there that you know that is what we are. This is what we do. And then for some of us, it is. Uh, we need to then uh, uh, check our um, attitudes, the way we speak, the things that we do. Because there's some people that you know they they get um, they get turned off by sometimes our tone of voice, or so, uh, yes. the way we speak. Yes. Sometimes they, you know they get turned off by our uh, gesture. They get turned off by, and that's why some people say, you know what. I don't want to marry in this uh, okay, fold. I want to go, go outside, outside of yes. uh, this. But there's nothing wrong in inter, you know, inter uh, marriage. marriage. There's absolutely nothing wrong in there. It's an understanding between the two couples. Okay. Because it's a union. And that's why you must understand that this is, you know, what you want to do. When you look into, uh, in, uh, in Africa, not, you see, we stay within this shore, there's echoes. Yes. You know, that, that's, that's, that, that, you know, it's a bond between different Respect countries, them. and they know what they want. They respect their individual, um, you know, perspective. And then in '77, uh, we did uh, Festac yes. in Nigeria, and then it brings about all other uh, African, uh, you know, you know, cultures and every single thing. So if we say we have to keep ourselves, then we are we are making us, we are isolating ourselves, ourselves from others. And then when we are isolating ourselves, we will not actually get the uh, the juice of the whole world, understanding that the way we do things yeah. is different from the way other people do things, yeah. and there will not mix that, and so, the variety will not be uh, will so not be there. There will be unity in diversity. There will be unity in diversity. Yeah, there's unity in diversity. Yeah, there's unity there's in diversity. Many times we see our own people, like our own members, that will be like, no, I don't even want to go near any other religion. And there are some uh, shepherds outside them. Let me say, in other churches, they'll be like, hello, sita, hello, mwa wale, hello, mwa wale, mwa stuff like that. So I'll be like, is it uh, actually wrong for them to uh, like go outside and get married and like have someone else in their life instead of the, 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 the danger that that creates yeah. is that maybe uh, someone is in a uh, church, uh, you know, in a different uh, denomination, and then you are from a different uh, denomination, and that person is so rooted in that denomination, saying that I can't live I this. Can't live and you also say, I'm a dual <laughs> denomination, I cannot live it. So, the, the problem that causes is that when you eventually get married, and that your wife is in another church, now the day that your wife gets disrespected because you are not there, the disrespect will be so much. 
But if you go there as a couple, you are there all the time. Even they want to disrespect her, they will probably look at you, yes. and that kind of you know um, reduce their level of uh, you know disrespect. disrespect. Um, I'm not I'm saying disrespect uh, the wife or husband. What I'm saying is that because the two of you are there as a, and it's the same thing for the husband as well in the church that uh, you know that it is, you know that ah. Uh, uh, you know, there's a saying in Yoruba, and that will you know. And then, I mean, yeah, although this man is very quiet, but uh, the wife, <laughs> if I'm not looking yeah. for her, don't go there. So, that, that is, so we're together there, it kind of, you know, it kind of reduces all those, um, all those, um, you know, uh, disrespects that uh, can be thrown away. Um, thank you so much. For thank you, sir. Okay. Uh, we really learned a lot from what you uh, actually shared with us. So that this will take us to um, spiritual um, consultation for marriage. Like, what um, are the things we need to do before getting married? Concern this spiritual consultation. And again, there are some. Uh, there are some that will be like, okay, like we've had something together. Actually, we know uh, biblically we are not supposed to um, like have something before marriage. marriage. But so once we've done that, I uh, will see like come for a spiritual uh, consultation like so what do you think uh, we really need to do regarding that sir see one of the um, because we're talking about marriage and because you know I understand that a lot of us are trying to or are in marriage or trying to get into marriage one of the reason why they always say to us that uh, you know don't uh, sleep together or don't have sex before marriage is only because of comparison because the moment that you you know you've been with uh, Auntie Bingpei or where any other uh, auntie, you now get married to someone uh, else, and the Bingpei is that you know the person that you got married to is not as active as, as Auntie Bingpei. Mm. The moment that you're together, your head is you going there. That's true. And also yourself as a lady, you've been with you know uh, uh, you know uh, Miss, Mr., yeah, with Tunji or Mr. James all the all the time, you know, and and you know and Mr. James uh, Mr. James is just a mellow person that you know he, <laughs> if you don't instigate, he will leave you alone. But now you're not married to uh, 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 Wasiu that every single time you know you know you go around the kitchen, is grabbing you, you going now. What am I in this? All the and Tunji is not like this. So what are they? So you, you know, make comparison. you have to make comparison, and there's no way. That you can compare, uh, that you can be rooted in that. There's no way that you can compare being rooted in that. So now that takes us to your other second question. Now you know you've been with, with this person, and you so like uh, their their aura. You so like the way they speak. You so like the thing that they do. You so like all these things. So the Bible said that you know for the for the crooked I will show myself crooked. For the forward I will show myself yes. forward. And then from all that you're not going to ask God. <laughs> So, see, God sees the intent of art. He knows yes. what you want to Even if they have told you that where you're going is wrong, you did, did, did one of the things in our in our fold is that let's you know let's you let's pray, let's help in prayer. Exactly. That's something you know the, the Bible says that once he has spoken to us, I've heard his word. That's something that God will speak once you get on. Um, yes. He has warned you about uh, that thing. But because we have started from that perspective, and then we have gone to know ourselves, and even some people it will probably be about maybe about a month down the line. That is okay. Uh, this thing is getting a bit serious now. Let me go and um, you know uh, seek um, uh, God. You know, you have seek yourself first before you seek God. <laughs> and that's some, you know, the, the way I know that God works is that what you don't invite God into, it doesn't. It does exactly. Yes. And so that is very the, the, for us to get the accuracy of for us to get the right you know right uh, pinpoint accuracy of this thing, we have to involve Him from from the beginning. The beginning. Now God, this is what I'm going into. What do I do? And also when you read the Bible, the Israelite king, when they're going to what the Lord, they will say, God, this is what, what will happen. And Lord will tell them, go. Okay. And some God will tell them, don't what? Stay. Or don't worry, don't go. I've conquered. Like the story of Gideon. He asked God, God said, you know what? Just go to the world. But you don't have to do anything because I've done what? I've, I've conquered all that. So we must involve God from that talking stage that we know that. Mm, I think this uh, madam is having sparkles in my head. Oh. We That's the answer to my question because yeah. I actually wanted to ask where in that um five steps of premarital yeah. um stages that we have to go and show no hope it's not like you get to the cutting stage then you now go the, mom, the moment you get into the, the cutting stage you know you guys have got him past that uh, past friendship it, it is the, it is a friendship that you know that okay i can cut this person okay. and then you then need to go yeah, before i start today let me go and you know let me go, and, let me go and pray about this about this thing. let's involve god as of the uh foundation you know as foundation it's like when you plant a little mango tree when you plant the mango tree you know from when it's growing if the mango tree is going this way it, it is then that you can correct it you probably put some, you know, um, bricks or yes, probably use yeah. something to brace it so, so it's standing like it. But the moment the mango tree now gets to <laughs> producing fruits 
and you're not yeah. trying to um, put it this way you probably the branch that you are pulling you probably break that branch yeah. or even pulling the tree itself you probably break it so that's why it's so very good for us to involve God from the big, uh, you know, from the beginning. And then, you know, let's get this thing right because we have involved God uh, from the beginning. That there is nothing like a perfect marriage. We need to make it work. Yes. We need to, you know, make it uh, make it work. There's nothing in life that is. There's nothing that is perfect. It is only living that's perfection. 